right, we've gotten a new update for Tekken 8 once again. The patch this time was uh, insanely long. <laughs> and even though it looked like uh, a fucking encyclopedia, most of it was just behavior changes. A lot of it was just for consistency sake more than anything else. There weren't major buffs and nerfs, although Azucena's running, I think it's 4-2, finally got hit. So if you step the first hit, she doesn't get the elbow anymore, which is kind of nice. Uh, Lee also got nerfed. Hitman, well, uh, yeah, Hitman up four. The nerf, I think, was for the wall combo. Well, he still will have his wall combo because that's what they showed in the trailer, but the extended wall combo, where if you're at a certain distance and you land Hitman up four, you can you get, I think it's plus 13 at a specific distance, which means down forward four, four would work and you can get the heat dash from that and extend your combos and stuff. Also, I think it was a nerf because of... Uh, what is it again? A crouching four into Hitman into Hitman up four. You could get a combo from that because you could float the opponent because you, again, you're plus 13. You could just land a down forward four pickup into a full combo again. But I think for major buffs and nerfs, we'd have to wait till after Evo Japan and <laughs> until next month, I guess. <laughs> That's when the next, I guess, major update would be or major patch. It would be start of May. Kinda sucks, but... <laughs> At least they're doing something. It's a step in the right direction, but very slowly. One step a month. Also, I don't know if it's in this patch, or if they're planning to implement it at some point, but pluggers finally are being dealt with in some way. What's going to happen is all the pluggers are going to end up facing off against other pluggers. And the only way they're going to get out of that situation is if they keep playing until their disconnection rate hits, I think, zero again. So it, it, it's a good start. Finally, something is being done about that. But with this patch, we also got new stuff in the Tekken shop. My problems with this still still stand from the last time I did a video on this. Like, let us customize these things however we want. Even these cyber packs. These are full body outfits. Uh, uh, what are they called again? Yeah, yeah full body outfits, whatever the fuck they're called. If you look at the content, the entire body, that's what it's called. So you can't mix and match these things which sucks i think you can change the color at least but it, again why not just let us mix and match the stuff and trade customizations how we want to we got a little eddie avatar again they should not be the same price as entire packs of outfits and classic outfits also why this outfit for yoshi i mean i guess it has its fans but tekken 4 tekken 3 yoshi i think that would sell a bit more but we also now have a Tekken Fight Pass, which is essentially a battle pass, in a sense, if you've played Fortnite, Apex. Uh, even Master Duel has one, actually. I think it's called the Duel Pass. Usually with these, the best stuff is on the premium side. It's locked behind the paywall. And looking at it, it's the same case here with Tekken. There's a lot of customization stuff here, which just makes me think that's why Tekken 8's customization was kind of lacking. A lot of our customization options are now behind a paywall, essentially. Now, they did say that you can earn Tekken coins from this battle pass thing, fight pass, whatever. And if I counted this correctly, from the premium side, you get 600 Tekken coins. This pass itself costs 600 Tekken coins. If you're on the free side, you basically get zero Tekken coins in total. That, I think, kind of sucks. There should be at least 100 Tekken coins or something on the free side for, for people, man. I mean... People spend so much money on the game already. I can't really blame them for not wanting to spend more. So at least give them some Tekken coins. You know, every four of these fight passes or whatever, they'd be able to buy an outfit or customization, whatever they want from the Tekken shop. It kind of sucks that they don't get anything, essentially, in terms of Tekken coins here. They do get some customization stuff, but that's about it. And with this fight pass as well, the fact that you get 600 coins from it, means that it's essentially paying for itself over and over again. When the second one rolls around, as long as you haven't spent those Tekken coins on something else, you can buy the next fight pass. But I feel it should have given at least like 700 coins or something so that you have 100 spare to spend on something else or save up to buy an outfit at some point. Because it's essentially just you buy this and then whatever Tekken coins you get from it, you're going to buy the next fight pass when it rolls around. That kind of sucks. And looking at the missions as well, like, I, I don't hate the concept of this stuff. It's just that I hate how it, this has been implemented. That's, like, my biggest issue with this stuff still is people 
pre-ordered the game. They bought deluxe editions, collector's editions and all that shit and no one knew about a Tekken shop and this fight pass and stuff going to be added to the game. The fact that they didn't tell anyone about it or essentially didn't show anything from it means again they didn't have to give us anything with those editions of the game that we bought. They could just throw the stuff out now, well three, four weeks later, well almost two months later now I guess and it's not just a thing that's in the game. Hey, we can take more money from you now. But again, I don't dislike the idea of you're going to be getting some rewards and stuff for just playing the game. I don't dislike that. It's just, again, the way it's implemented, it just feels so scummy. And then there's also, I don't know if you guys have seen this, entire channels and stuff have been hit with DMCAs and have been taken down because they've showcased mods. So again, they're still going after the modders. It sucks. Again, I don't dislike the idea of the Tekken shop and the fight pass and stuff. It's just... Again, it's the implementation that's just off. And again, with the customization in this game, please just work on it so that we can mix and match these outfits. The stuff would have... It would be worth so much more if we could do that. It's, it's so stupid. <laughs> Why can't we not mix and match these outfits? It gives so much more customization options just from that alone. Give us that, work on it, please. And again, with the fight pass, the free side of the fight pass should have some Tekken coins thrown in there. People spent so much money on the game already. Just give them something. Every four fight passes, they'd be able to buy an outfit. Is it is it that much of a problem if you're missing out on just a little bit more cash from a game that people have spent so much money on already and are probably going to buy this Tekken pass as well. Maybe an outfit, maybe these packs for the, the cyber packs. I actually think they look kind of cool. But again, I wish there was more customization options for this stuff. It's it's so stupid. Uh, they clearly still need to work on customization. They need to rework the rewards in the battle, the fight pass, whatever. I, I think at least giving 100 Tekken coins on the free side is fair, considering the fact that Tekken 8 is not a free-to-play game. People have bought deluxe editions and collector's editions and shit for this game. It's, it's not a free-to-play game. At least give the free side 100 Tekken coins for people. It's it's fair. It, like it, it, When you look at it, for, Fortnite, Apex, those are free-to-play games and have those Battle Pass things. And I think even there, you get some of the premium currency just from the free side of the Battle Passes that they have anyway. But you guys let me know how you feel about this stuff. The, the Battle, well, ba Fight Pass, whatever. <laughs> the changes for... Pluggers now being put up against other pluggers. I think it's really good. And well, just update overall. <laughs>